Now, if you are a fan of the channel, you may know that I'm a fan of the YouTube series Journey Across Japan, which is a series made by Chris Broad. If you watch my videos, you would know that I watched two of the seasons in one sitting live, and the first one is so long that that was kind of an accomplishment, simply because of how long it was. I'm obviously a big fan of this show, but that may make people wonder, why am I such a big fan of this show? Why do I love it so much? So I really want to talk about how I love this show and how examples like this really show how simple things such as videos can transform us into a time that is not today. Have you ever had a food a long time ago that you haven't eaten in a while but then it just pops into your head and then it reminds you of the time when you ate that? I can think of countless examples for this. For example, Pop-Tarts. I haven't eaten a Pop-Tart in a long time, but every time I think of the taste, I think of when I had a Pop-Tart, which was back in the third grade. I'm now in the ninth grade, so that was a long time ago, but I just remember that time simply because I remember how the Pop-Tart tasted. I remember toasting it and it tasted so good, even though it's like the sweetest, most diabetic thing to ever exist. I enjoyed it a lot, and even though I haven't eaten it in so long, I still remember that taste vividly. You know what? Because I remembered the taste of a Pop-Tart, I decided to get some. Now, like I said, I haven't eaten this since I was in the third grade, but let's try. Okay, now, I'm gonna just eat one because these have like a lot of sugar. Let's see how much there is. Okay, each serving is two of them, and two of them have 35 grams of sugar, meaning that each one has like 27.5 grams of sugar. These better be ginormous to have that much sugar. Like, here, let me, let me get some. This seems kind of small to have that much sugar. Like, how do you put that many in here? Doesn't matter, let's toast it. Oh, look, it finished toasting, so let's try this. Doesn't taste as good as I remember. It's very sweet, but it doesn't taste as good as I remembered. So that's kind of a letdown, but. Now I have eight of these, or seven left. <sighs> yeah, no, I feel like I'm speedrunning diabetes eating this. Like, it's really sweet. Yeah, I don't know how people eat these every day. Like, that's... Yeah, I guess people love speedrunning diabetes. That must be fun. And that's simply put why I love Journey Across Japan so much. Because it takes me back to when I first watched it. Like the first one where they go on the bike. I remember watching it back in like September of 2020 when I didn't even have my own computer. I remember I used to go on the family Mac out in the dining room, which I don't even have anymore. But I remember going on and playing Minecraft. I was playing on this specific world, which is now gone because I accidentally deleted it. I just remember playing on that. And that's what reminds me when I watch Journey Across Japan, at least up to when Joey was on because that was the furthest I ever got in the show before I decided to sit down and watch the whole thing. The second Journey Across Japan reminds me of the time it first came out. I remember being so excited because Journey Across Japan at that time, even though I didn't watch much of it, was my favorite YouTube series. So seeing a sequel to it was just exciting. I remember just watching it. I remember when they recreated Dr. Jelly. I remember when they went into that capsule hotel. Everything I vividly remember because it was such a great time. Third one, I remember when it first came out because I was also excited for the third season. I remember too much volcano. I just remember everything in general. And that transforms me back to that time when it first came out. And that's why I enjoy Journey Across Japan so much, because it takes me back to a time which I look back on fondly and see as better than now. But then that takes me to something I realized a long time ago and has really changed my perspective on life. I could definitely say that you probably look back at your childhood more fondly than now. But have you ever had the thought of you will look back at right now fondly in the future? I mean, think this through. At the time that you look back at fondly more, you always felt fondly of before that time when you were there. Like, say I look fondly at me in the seventh grade. When I was in the seventh grade, I look back at fondly at the fifth grade. It goes on and on and on. You know, people would say, oh, let's go back to the good old days, you know, the good times. But was it really the good times or are you just re-remembering it in a glorified way? Because there was definitely bad things that happened back then. It's just your brain doesn't see them as bad things or simply doesn't remember them because it happened in the past. While it's great to look back on the past 
thinking of right now as a bad time and back then as a good time is terrible because you can't go back into the past, but you can definitely change what's happening right now. So instead of crying about how things in the past were better, instead just make what's better of right now. But even though I've had that mindset for a long time, I still look back at back times more fondly. Like, I'll give you an example with Journey Across Japan. My favorite seasons from top to bottom is the first season, the second season, the third season, and the fourth season. You see a pattern? The older it is, I like it more. Because, in my mind, the further back I go, the time was better. But it was it really? No. Because if you think about it, when I first found out about the first, second, and third, it was in the height of COVID. I mean, the main reason why I even started watching Chris Brothers is because I couldn't go to Japan myself, even though my father lived there. So instead of being sad about not being able to go, instead I watched Chris Broad because he was kind of documenting Japan in a way. And Journey Across Japan was showing him going across Japan, which was nice, even though he didn't go to Nagoya, which is where I was from, which is kind of sad because he like really hates it there. I don't know why he hates it there, but he does. So. He never went there, but that didn't matter because it was Japan and it tricked my mind into thinking that I went there during COVID even though I know for a fact that I did not. I mean, I still have dreams to this day where I'm there, you know, I'm there, I'm there, I see my dad, I'm so happy. But the dreams always end with me realizing, wait, I don't remember going on a flight and then my mind realizing that, oh, this is just a dream. It's happened on a week to week basis where I have a dream where I'm in Japan I'm usually by myself for some reason. I'm never with my sister or my mom. It's just I get there, I see my dad, but then it always ends with me realizing, oh, I didn't ride a plane, so this must be a dream. And it's kind of like a, you know, a big letdown. That's probably one of the reasons why I started watching Chris Broad. You know, not probably, I know for a fact that's the reason why I started watching Chris Broad. And all Chris Broad helped me trick my mind into thinking I was there, which was very amazing. So thank you, Chris, for making such an amazing series. And I can now look back at Journey Across Japan for the time when I first watched it, for when I watched it on stream. No matter what it is, I can look back on it fondly. And that's why I enjoy Journey Across Japan so much, because it takes me back to a time that I look at back fondly. So I want to end this video off by saying that it's guaranteed to look back on your past more fondly than right now. It's just something that's going to happen and you can't avoid it. But instead of crying about wanting to go back into the past, make the best of what's happening right now because right now is truly the only time that you can ever change you can't change your past but you can do whatever you want right now so just make the best out of what's happening right now so then in the future you'll look back at fondly of right now anyway i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did please hit that subscribe button and i'll see you guys next week